Harvard Law Professor Emeritus Alan Dershowitz, who joins me now by phone. Professor Dershowitz, thanks for being with us this evening. Thank you so much. I mean, the obvious point that everybody should understand is that the FBI didn't ask him these questions to learn the truth because they knew the truth. They knew the truth. They weren't trying to obtain more information. They were simply giving him an opportunity to lie. Now, he could have told the truth, obviously, if he remembered, but he didn't. But the idea is that I don't think in America we want to empower the FBI or grand juries or prosecutors to impose morality tests, criminal morality tests on citizens, give them opportunities to lie, opportunities to tell the truth, test them. And as Judge Sullivan implied and as Judge Ellis said very clearly, the goal here was not to get Flynn, obviously. He's just a means to the end. Their goal was to find some low-hanging fruit, figure out a way of getting him to lie to the FBI so that they could squeeze him then either to sing or to compose. The obvious target here was Donald Trump, not Flynn. And uh, the question is whether or not we want to live in a society, as a civil libertarian, I don't, in which the but FBI, the grand jury of prosecutors, are empowered to conduct morality tests. But, I think but, the but function but of Professor, prosecutors, all the function respect. of grand juries, the function of FBI agents is to get to the truth. And so they should never ask anybody a question to which they already know the answer. Uh, but, the question, but, but, did you have conversations with this diplomat? The FBI knew the answer. Therefore, it was not an appropriate question. But, but Professor, Professor can you hear me? Professor, can give you him hear an me? Opportunity to lie. Professor? And that's an inappropriate use of prosecution. That's why from day one, I said Flynn was not guilty. He could win this case. He should never have pleaded guilty. But because they threatened his family, they threatened his fortune, they threatened his integrity. I think he felt he had no choice. Also, if he pleaded not guilty and went to trial, he'd get five or ten times the sentence he would get if he pleaded guilty. All right. And that's the way prosecutors often operate. A pro uh, uh, professor, with all due respect, it isn't, it's, it isn't even the issue of li living in a country where they can do a truth test on us. It's living in a country where the rules are followed. And so the, it, he was a target. He was being interrogated. He was not just not advised that he was a target, not advised of Miranda, not advised he was in their crosshairs. He was told specifically, you don't need lawyers. And Comey laughs about it and says, in any other administration, we wouldn't have done this. That's even worse than where, you know, than, than, than someone who was just, you know, uh, forgetting about the, the truth and no, not I'd the like, truth. Look, I agree. There's no question that they should have gone through the White House Counsel's Office. They should have arranged a formal meeting. They should have told him that they're interested in investigating him. They should have told him that they had evidence that he had lied to Pence, that he had lied to the media. And now they wanted to show him the transcript and ask him whether or not this had happened. And can he explain why it happened? As you said in the beginning of your monologue, nothing illegal, nothing even improper about him talking to the a diplomat. That happens all the time. And uh, the question is, should they be rewarded for breaking the rule or should Judge uh, Sullivan uh, impose a consequence on them? Okay, uh, but you know, Professor, judges often we both... use good language like Judge Ellis did and criticize prosecutors, but they rarely throw out cases. So I'm anxious to see what happens in this case, because I thought that the disclosures made by the special counsel's office did not strengthen their case. They actually weakened their case. And I'd love to see the redacted material to find well, out if there's more information that either strengthens or weakens the case. But uh, the judge has a good reputation. Uh, let's see what he does. And this professor, goes beyond professor. Manafort. This goes beyond Flynn. This goes beyond Trump. It All goes right. to what the appropriate role of prosecutors, grand juries, FBI agents are in a democracy that is bound by the rule of law. And this was a very disappointing experience and the fact that Comey uh, engineered it, laughed about it, and talked about how he could get away with it because of this administration certainly doesn't put the rule of law and the rule of the FBI in a very positive uh, light. All right, Alan Dershowitz, thanks so much for being with us. And I, I think we had Thank some you. problem there with the professor hearing me.